Hey, welcome back everyone. Cameron here. Today's video will consist of how to draw hats. I'll explain my approach in the simplest way possible. Feel free to pause the video at any point if I happen to go too fast. I hope this tutorial helps you as well as supports you on your art journey. Feel free to let me know in the comments below what else you guys would like to see additional videos on. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Your support is greatly appreciated. And now, let's get to the video. Okay, so this is going to be a fairly quick tutorial, but you want to start with um, just a quick shape for the head. This is going to be kind of similar to our hair tutorial, so you don't have to really draw any details or features for the head. You just want a basic head shape. And then once you have the head drawn out, um, we're going to start adding in our reference points. And you want to add a reference point pretty much on both sides of the head and then one in the middle. And the middle reference point is basically just going to represent the, um, the, the, uh, what is it? Pretty much the distance from the, the visor portion of the hat from the forehead since it's going to be coming out out towards us and in this tutorial I'm going to be using like a uh, I believe it's called a beret type of hat so you'll start to notice you probably start to recognize it as I go along but right here we're just we want to start blocking in the shape or the overall form of the hat basically it's kind of like it's, it's kind of similar to how we did the hair so you always want to start with just blocking out the the overall form or the shape of the the hat so and you'll start to notice how those reference points that are on both sides of the head it kind of like kind of like uh, um they're just, gonna, just pretty much going to help help you to uh connect the um connect the overall shape of the head if that makes sense so so you can see we we have the the overall shape kind of drawn out now but once you get to like the visor portion of the hat this is basically where the the um the reference points kind of come into play it's basically just to help you so that you don't really draw one side too low or too high, if that makes sense. So, and then, it, and then that middle portion is just to show the um, give that illusion of the thickness for the visor, kind of because it kind of wraps around and then goes underneath again. It's kind of a tricky shape when it comes to this, this particular hat, but. But yeah, this the reference points are just to help you um, 
place certain parts of the the hat where needed and where to connect the connect both sides basically basically so And you can also keep in mind when in the beginning stage of trying to find the form of the hat, think of the hat as like an extension of the, the head shape, if that makes sense. So just I keep going back to how the, how it's similar to hair, and which it is, and it, I think it's more, it's probably even easier than hair though, but I just think of the hat as like just an extension of the, the head. Cause it's gonna sl it's gonna slightly stand it's gonna s slightly sit higher of course from the scalp itself but it's it's all it is it's basically just a, a added shape on top of it on top of the head so once you have the form blocked out then you're good to go when it comes to just adding in the details later on so I hope that kind of simplifies it for you guys. And right here I'm just kind of adding in contrast for the hair. You don't have to do it but I just added in for a little, little quick um, touch. So. And then this is pretty much like the thickness of the hat under which comes underneath the the main body of the hat because like berets kind of have like this lick layer underneath and then the visor kind of comes out from underneath as well so it's kind of a tricky shape but yeah. and here it's just the shadow from the visor portion so the visor is just kind of casting it on some uh, shadow onto the forehead and right here you can just this is just me kind of trying to give it some more texture when it comes to the hat texture so you, depending on where the lights hitting the hat it, it'll be of course it'll be hitting the top probably most likely so you can always like at, go in and add in like extra little shading just to give it a little bit more form. And give that illusion that it's kind of wrapping from underneath. And that is our hat video. I hope this tutorial has helped you and take care.